Hello YouTube, this is Queen Violet 8 coming at you with a PSP video. The PSP was Sony's first handheld console and it's still amazing to this very day. As you can see, I've got Wild Arms XF playing in the background, but I got mine late in the game, unfortunately, and I wish I'd known about it sooner, but I slept on it and I hate that I did, but I'm glad I got it now. I was lucky to get it in a lot about a few years ago. I want to say about four years ago. And it came with the AV out cables. And I was really happy to get those uh, to be able to play it on the big screen. But this was an amazing device. I believe this is what, you know, the Switch it was kind of built off of. Being able to play these, you know, handheld games on the big screen and have it portable. So the, these are like PS2 graphics. And it's a wonderful system. I... Uh, started toting this one around as well as my 3DS just switching between these and I've been having a blast with it I wish I could finish more of my games, but you know that backlog that backlog But let's get into my uh, humble collection. I don't have that many games, you know, like I said I got in late, but at least I'm in there now So pick up a PSP if you see one especially cheap because they're not that expensive yet But uh grab those I hate that they've shut you know, the store down and all. There's no support for it anymore. But when it was, it, it was a beast and it still is. So let's get into the uh, collection. I'm going to turn that off. Don't want to waste my battery. This is the greatest hits of Final Fantasy Crisis Core. I really enjoyed this game. The uh, battle system is much different from, you know, a, a traditional RPG. It's more actiony. But this was the story, the pretty much the prelog before everything happened. You're playing as my man, Zach, and you're with Angelus, Genesis, and Sephiroth before he went, you know, crazy and uh, became the villain he was in Final Fantasy VII. But pick this up. Really, really good game. This is Astonisher Story. Um, this was just an early RPG. And I've been noticing it's inching up. I don't know why. Some people says it has a connection to Monster Kingdom Jewel Summoner, but I don't know yet. I haven't played it. I intend to get around to playing some of the games at least. Hopefully sooner than later, but you know, the backlog. This is Patapon. This is a rhythm game. It's really cute. You move these little, little circles. Well, eyeballs pretty much. And a rhythm-based uh, uh, game. It's really cute. You're defending, you know, your village and everything from monsters and things. It's really, really cute. This is an early RPG that I finally got. I've been meaning to pick this up for a while. This is Brave Story New Traveler. This is good for anybody who wants to get into RPGs. It's by Xseed. This game, I've played this and I really enjoyed it. This is Jeanne d'Arc, and pretty much it's based on the story of Joan of Arc. And it's a tactical RPG, and pretty much you start off, monsters are attacking your village, and suddenly you get this magical armor that allows you, you know, to defend everybody. This came in the lot that I got with my PSP, and this is Monster Hunter Freedom. Then we'll get into my loose games and I'll finish out with the uh, boxed ones that I do have. This is Monster Kingdom Dual Sum Jewel Summoner. I've played this game. It's like a dark version of Pokemon. Uh, you're this guy and you're out for revenge against this one monster that came and killed your mother and burned down your village. And pretty much you're going around collecting those and you join like this little group of uh, rookie monster summoners, you know, looking for these jewels that help summon these creatures. Uh, pick that up if you find it interesting. Blade Dancer Lineage of Light. This is an RPG by NIS. Uh, I've got to start playing this one. I, I've heard good things about it. So glad I picked this up when I did. I, I got lucky and found this. This was the only way I could get it. Didn't come in a box, but it's E7. You know E's and, and that awesome soundtrack that they always have. Pick that up if you want to pick it up. This is Aegis Eclipse Generations of Chaos. There's also an original Aegis Eclipse 
uh, just, you know, the plain one. But this one is an RPG. I've played a little bit of it. It's a tactical RPG. And pretty much, you're in mechas. You're moving these mecha suits to defend your city and everything from the enemy. This is Crimson Gem Saga. And <laughs> this is a really funny game. Unfortunately, uh, the protagonist in this is too cocky for his own good. He's a wannabe knight, and he's not very good at it, really. He's too gullible, if you ask me. And he just thinks too highly of himself. And the first thing that happens is this elf girl robs you. I'm like, how could you let that happen? Aren't you supposed to be at least a bit brighter than that? But pick it up if you see it. Really good game, Atlas. Final Fantasy, Dissidia. Uh, this is also a modern, modern platform. So, you know, pick that up. It's also on the PS4. So if you want to play it that way, you can. The PSP is no longer has any kind of support from Sony, unfortunately, but you can still download games to it. Uh, this is Kinkabancho Badass Rumble, and I love this game. I've played it, and I wish uh, it's kind of like Uppers, if you've ever played that one, which I've got to get for the Vita. But this game, you play this delinquent, and you're supposed to prove your worth on the streets as being the baddest delinquents there is going to these different schools, challenging their bonchos, which are the head guys in the school. Your dad was like a legendary boncho, and well, in his humble opinion. And you're supposed to pretty much try to live up to being the even better than him. Uh, so pick that up if you see it. Nights in the Nightmare. This is also on the 3DS. I couldn't get in this game. I don't like it. It's just too gimmicky. You're trying to move certain places here, and it's like a tactical grid-based RPG, and it's hard. I just, I couldn't get into it, but if you want to try it, you know, pick it up. This game, I was so glad. This was the last one I ever bought, and I'm glad I picked it up because I played the original. This is Valkyrie Profile Linen, and, you know, I, I really want to see what, you know, improvements they've made on this game. Uh, I haven't even, you know, I've put it in and looked at it. But I haven't really played it uh, yet. But I'm just glad to have it. These are my last collections. And this one I really, really enjoyed. This is Sweet Fuse by your side. And pretty much it's an Otome game. And you play as the lead heroine. You're going to this like Wonderland theme park. And uh, this terrorist, this, this little pig, Count Hogenstein, he pretty much takes over the park. And he traps the workers there in these suits with bombs attached to them. And you and your um, target, uh, male target cat, targets are supposed to try to work together and get out of there. You've got a, I think he's an, a TV idol. He's a hostess. He's an otaku gamer. He's a detective. He's a fortune teller, mystic. And wait, he's FBI or police, I think. And he's the detective. He's retired, just an older dude. I don't even know why they put him in there. But anyway, you've got to work with them to figure out a way to get out of there alive. And pretty much you you pick and choose what you want to do. And when you get frustrated, you blow a fuse. It shows a little bomb and everything. And suddenly you lose your mind like, what is wrong with you? We need to do this and this and this. You get really aggressive. And I really, really, really enjoyed this game. I think it's still on the PSP network. I'm not sure. I haven't looked to see if many of these games, I think, are still on there. But uh, if you want to play it, you know, it's a good game. Pick it up. Kingdom of Paradise. I picked this up. I've heard good things about it. You're this uh, martial artist with a strong sense of justice. And you pretty much just can't let, you know, well enough alone. And you've got to save, you know, all these people. And, you know, go around being pretty much the hero. But uh, pick it up. Had to make sure to get the first two E's. I've heard that this is the best way to play it. This is E's Books 1 and 2. Well, E's Chronicles Books 1 and 2. Um, pick this up. Uh, when they sold me this, uh, you know, I thought I was getting the original cover. It's not. Somebody just printed it out. And I was like, okay, well, that was lazy of you. You could have just not done that. It probably, you know, went up in price that way. People thought it was the original cover. Don't do that. But pick this up if you want to play the first two. The one on the 3DS is not as good. It's just so much slower. Got this in the lot as well. This is Need for Speed Most Wanted. 
this game I've played, and it's <laughs> it's weird. You play as this male protagonist, and what you're doing is you want to be an adventurer, but you're broke. So there's this place called Adventures to Go, and it's pretty much like an arcade. You can go in and adventure there and make money. And pretty much that's your whole thing in this game. You stay in that one spot and adventure. You know, it has different levels and all, and you pick up people, and pretty much that's your gimmick. You're going to get your money that way by staying in town safely in this one spot. <laughs> So, you know, it's really repetitive. I got bored with it after a while. But, you know, if you want to try it, you know, pick it up. It's dirt cheap. Also, the PSP was awesome to have movies on. I mean, I could you could take this thing anywhere and watch movies. This was, you know, before phones. You could download them to movies. I mean, I think it was Video to Go was the first one that really got started with the uh, Game Boy. But this is Steam Boy. And really good movie, by the way. Really liked it. I intend to get some more anime. I want Ghost in the Shell and Ninja Scroll, which I have on DVD, but I just want them for the PSP. This is Hakuoki, Demon of the Fleeting Blossom. Pretty much you're this uh, female protagonist. You get caught up in these fights between the Shinsengumi and some rival clan that want to take over. And, you know, you've got a lot of capture targets. Even some of the villains are capture targets. And pretty much your father has something to do with it. And they think, you know, that you know, kidnapping you or whatever will help them figure out a way to win or something of that nature. I haven't played too far into it, but it's a really good game. Uh, pick it up. There are others in the series as well. But I'm really happy I got my PSP. I don't have as much as I'd like for it, but I'm okay with that. I mean, what I've got, I'm pleased with. You know, I'm always looking to see if I see anything else, especially in the wild. So if you haven't played the, the Sony PSP, you know, give it a give it a chance. You know, some of these games are only on the PSP, but uh, it's still affordable right now if you want to get one. And uh, just enjoy those games. Stay safe out there. Later days.